Hello everybody, hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. I'm back with another look around the car boot sale and I've got a car boot sale haul for you today. I have stuck to the theme of Christmas again this week. I just fancied trying to find some more Christmas decorations, maybe some Christmas gifts, and we're not going to be disappointed. So I've got all the bits that I'm going to show you that I picked up from the car boot sale down here. So I'll show you all of those in a bit. I'm really excited about this one. I found some fantastic Christmas ornaments for the Christmas tree. But if you're like me, you might like a bit of a random Christmas tree. I sometimes have a small themed one, kind of I guess like white company style, you know, I go for kind of like the silvers, the whites, keep it quite traditional in that respect. But then if I get a real tree, do we get a real tree this year? I'm not sure with the kittens, but I do like on a larger tree, eclectic Christmas decorations, still beautiful ones, but sort of mismatched and ones that all hold different memories and stuff. Anyway, I found some really incredible ornaments, really beautiful ones. I'm just having a little peek down here yeah, I've got some random too. So yeah, I've got some car boot cell finds to share with you and the footage from Sunday's visit. I'm off to the Be Creator Awards this afternoon, or this evening I should say, with Luke. We've both been kindly invited along by Be Creator to celebrate and just to be there as their guests so we can cheer along everybody that's been nominated for an award and just have a lovely evening. So I'm really looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to seeing Luke. I haven't seen him for a while, so it'll be good to have a little catch up, see what he's been up to, and I'm gonna get a bit glammed up, so I'm saying that. I've got no idea what I'm gonna wear. <laughs> so we'll have to raid the wardrobe shortly, so I'll be heading off there in about an hour. And yeah, I've just been really enjoying my evenings up here in the loft. It has become my favorite place recently. I was just having a little look on the um, monitor to see where Gary was, because he was hiding the last time I filmed up here. So Gary is still here chilling out. The kittens are still loving it up here as well. They're just downstairs having a snooze at the moment. But I've got the candles lit. I've got cozy because I actually spent um, some of this afternoon watching a movie as part of the Sky Cinema Club where every month I review a film on Sky Cinema. With it being spooky season, I went for a bit of a horror thriller, which I love. And this is a film that I was so excited to see. I really I really wanted to see this film when it came out in the cinema, but it was one of those ones, if you're like me, sometimes you see something that's out in the cinema and by the time you get round to going to see it in the cinema, it's not on anymore. I do that all the time. I must be better organized, but the fantastic thing is this film is now available to watch on Sky Cinema and it is Cocaine Bear. Have you seen this film? Have you heard of this film? When I saw the trailer for it, I'm gonna link the trailer for you in the description box, have a watch. It is something else. I mean, I didn't know what to expect. When I saw the title, I just thought that's gonna be a silly film. It is kind of a silly film. I'd say it's kind of like a comedy thriller. Let me read you what it says. So inspired by a 1985 true story, wild dark comedy finds an oddball group of cops, criminals, tourists, and teens converging in a Georgia forest where a 500 pound apex predator has ingested a staggering amount of cocaine and has gone on a coke fueled rampage. This film, it is bonkers, it is hilarious. I laughed out loud so many times because it's just really funny. It's got Margot Martindale in it. So she stars in it as the park ranger and her character is so funny. I was crying with laughter, but then I missed the next bit and I had to rewind it because I was laughing so much. Honestly, if you've seen it and you've seen the scene with the ambulance, please tell me I'm not the only person that found that funny. I, <laughs> it's just making me giggle thinking about it. It's a brilliant film. If you like kind of a silly thriller um, and a bit of comedy, a bit of dark comedy, I think you will absolutely love it. Sky Cinema have also got a couple of other releases out this month. There's Retribution starring Liam Neeson and Puss in Boots, The Last Wish, which I think would be a really lovely family movie. In fact, I might probably watch that one um, with the kittens. They have become, especially Mittens, she's a bit of a telly addict. And when I come up here of an evening, she will come and sit on the rug where I'm sitting now and she'll just look up at the TV, particularly if there's kind of any animated characters or animals on the screen. They love a bit of telly too. And with it being spooky season, it is my 
favourite time of year for films and Sky Cinema I have not disappointed. They have got their Halloween pop-up which is full of horror movies. So if, like me, you are a fan of the horrors and you want to snuggle up with Gary the Ghost and watch some horror movies, then you are spoilt for choice. We've got things like Scream, we've got The Blair Witch Project, Paranormal Activity Collection, The Saw Collection, Smile It, Megan, um, the old Halloween as well, the classic one, which is my probably favourite all-time um, Halloween movie to watch on Halloween. I feel like you've got to watch the original Halloween with Jamie Lee Curtis on Halloween. It is just so atmospheric and I think it's the music that makes that film. I will leave the links to the trailers of the films I've mentioned to you in the description box. And if like me you want to make more effort to see films while they're still on at the cinema then I think you'll really love this offer that Sky Cinema are doing. They're giving you two free View Cinema tickets every month. So to get your tickets or to find out more information about Sky Cinema I'll leave you a link in the description box and a big thank you as always to Sky Cinema for working with me on today's video. Right then, shall we jump into the footage from the car boot sale? Eyes peeled for any Christmassy bits and you can take a guess as to what I might have picked up and I'll meet you back here and show you everything that I got. Okay, quick sip of the Diet Coke. That was three gulps, but who's counting? Did you spot anything in the footage? Did you see anything festive? Did anything catch your eye? First things first. I got another one of these, didn't I? I could not resist it, and it's actually got all the bits and pieces in it that I'm going to be showing you. So this Fortnum's basket was £15, or hamper I should say, basket hamper. I'm thinking, now I've got two of this size, they may well become the beds for pumpkin and mittens as we head into autumn and winter. I've noticed they've really noticed the temperature changing. It has been very warm in London, but whenever it drops of an evening, they want to come and cuddle up, which is really nice. So I want to make them some snuggly beds, and I think one of these each would definitely be a vibe. I do remember when they could both fit in one comfortably together. They probably could come in one of these together for a bit of a snuggle, but they'd probably get a bit annoyed with each other after a while. So yeah, 
Anyway, I'm very happy with this and it was a total bargain for £15. So that is the first thing that I got. Not particularly Christmassy, although this would be a great um, base for a gift, wouldn't it? You could put some different nice foods in there or some different, I don't know, just a themed gift, I guess. And you can do like a nice um, hamper for somebody, can't you? So that is always an option. Let's start with a bit of random. I couldn't resist getting these because I'm always losing my drill bits and I don't have certain sizes. The person selling this also was selling a drill, which I had my eye on, but they'd actually just sold the drill. It was a Bosch one and like a mini one, which looked really handy. I've got a decent sized um, Bosch drill, but I just like the look of this smaller one because it could be like handy for just doing like little flat pack jobs and things like that. Probably um, not the most exciting. Oh, I don't know. I, I think with you guys, you do get excited about the same things as me. So you might find this exciting too. Um, so for five pounds, I thought this was a real good price. Um, she said that a few of them were missing, people had been borrowing them and not returning them. But, um, loads of sizes in here that I'll definitely use. So I'll probably go through um, my pre-existing drill bits and swap some out and add these to it. Make my set complete again. I also have, whoops, some bigger ones here which I thought would be really handy. You know when you sometimes need to make that big kind of hole in something. And then all the different um, screwdriver heads as well. So. That was a good bargain, I think, for a fiver. Didn't haggle on that, I just thought, yeah, pretty good. And uh, yeah, very handy to keep um, with my tools. So, on to the Christmassy bits. And there was quite a lot, wasn't there? So I had to be quite kind of thoughtful as to what I wanted. I have mentioned before, I've got a lot of Christmas decorations already, so it's kind of one in, one out. And I'm just mostly looking for like really special ones. So, first of all, I spotted this. Now this is a Harrods bear ornament, and this is silk, so this front section, so it's a glass ornament, and this front section here with the bear on is actually a piece of silk, which I thought was absolutely beautiful. It says, Silk Panel Christmas Bear. It is a 2021, I didn't realize it was dated. I'm not so keen on baubles that have a date on them, but because the date is on the back on this one. I thought that was kind of um, absolutely fine actually because you would hang it with the teddy bear facing forward. And you guys know I love a teddy bear. Can't resist them, I just think they're so cute. So, he is now part of the Random Bauble collection. They're quite a posh bauble too and actually, he wouldn't look out of place on a traditional tree, would he? If you are going for your kind of reds, greens and golds. And then we have the Harrods branding on the back with the date of 2020 on there. So yeah, really sweet little bauble. I guess that, oh no, it wouldn't make a good gift, was it? <laughs> it would make a good gift if it didn't have the date on it. That's the trouble with um, things with dates on. They date. <laughs> so yeah, can't really give that to somebody as a present. But I do think a bauble would make a lovely gift. If I could find some Fortnum's ornaments, we'd be laughing. Talking of which, now this one could actually be from Fortnum's or from Harrods or somewhere um, like that because it's such beautiful quality. This was three pounds. Oh, that was three pounds as well So I think they're a really good price Christmas ornaments now. I'm sure you've seen when I've taken you around Some of the shops in London are very expensive They're kind of averaging at 20 pounds per ornament in the posh shops And so when you see one like this at the boot sale I Can't resist it. So she is a ballerina. I've had a little look online. And I could only find her was it on Etsy or somewhere? I can't remember, but there was a few um, of this style, very expensive, I think around 50 pounds online. She's so beautifully made. She has a porcelain head and then um, everything else is stitched and the body is wired. This is quality, isn't it? Um, so wherever she has come from, please let me know if you've seen her <laughs> out and about or if you have her or if you know somebody that does. Um, the detail is just exquisite and I love when ornaments like this have that amount of detail on and that amount of quality. So really sweet and she is now going on the eclectic tree. Maybe she'd be quite nice on top of a tree. Like you know when you put an angel or a fairy on the top. And can we have a name for her please? Let me know in the comments. What should we call her? So yeah, I feel like Pumpkin and Mittens might um, want to get involved with her so <laughs> she'll have to be out of reach as well. And then I picked up some Christmas cards. I've got a few from the boot sale now and I can't resist when they're this nice quality. 
These ones I just thought were absolutely beautiful. They are glittered and they're London design, so I love anything London. And so on here we've got the London Eye, we've got a little London bus, um, a really sweet little lampshade, there's Santa flying over past Big Ben, the Shard there, the Oxo Tower and the Gherkin, so some modern buildings too. So fab for anybody that loves London. And you get six in here, and the brand is Five Dollar Shake, so are we familiar with that? I was going to say it looks American, but it says beautiful cards made in Britain. And yeah, it's FiveDollarShake.com if you were interested. And those were one pound for the uh, pack, which I thought was really good. And then I also picked up some tissue paper for wrapping. I've got um, three sets here. So we've got this one, which is like silver with um, like Fair Isle design on it. Quite a lot of sheets in there, there's seven sheets. This one's from m &S. this is three sheets of printed tissue, and that one you could use all year round. And then this one is really sweet, this has got um, lots of little British birds, British wildlife, and this looks like a TK Maxx find, or a HomeSense find, judging by the label there. And I got the three of those for, they wanted 50p each. I think I got them for £1.50 and they threw in these um, gift tags as well. So these are really sweet. Um, they are by a brand called um, Merry Merry and they're just these really nice kind of geometric-y kind of Christmas trees. I like the neon colour. I think that'd look quite cool on maybe um, just brown paper, you know, like really simple wrapping. I like the um, neon string that comes with that. I thought those were really sweet. And that is everything that I got from the car boot sale this time. So I didn't get loads, but very pleased with the bits that I've got. I've got some nice Christmassy bits. I've got a bit of useful and can't resist hamper. I'm sorry. <laughs> so what time is it? Oh my goodness. I have got 40 minutes until I need to leave the house. And I do not know what I'm wearing for the Be Creator awards this evening. So I'm gonna go and raid the wardrobe and I will update you with my outfit once it's on. I should probably eat something as well. Yeah, I've gotta get going. Right, <laughs> I'll see you shortly. Okay, I have made it to the train station just in time to catch the train. I feel like I do this every single year that I've been to the Be Creator Awards or previously the Blogosphere Awards. You may remember me being here with um, blisters, sweating. I think we're having a repeat performance this evening. I've just eaten a bit of beef, <laughs> in case you're wondering. That's all I could see in the fridge that I thought what will sustain me um, into the evening. So I had a bit of beef. This is my outfit. I wanted to show you at home in the mirror, but here we are. This is a jacket, like a jacket that I got from Trade, and it's a Topman um, jacket with a bit of like sparkle on it. We've got like an eye, a ladybird, and down here we've got some bees or some other insects. Another ladybird or ladybug. And I've just worn, I've actually worn a vest, um, just because it is so warm in London today. And I think Luke did that last year, and I thought, wise move, because it gets very warm at the awards and then I've gone for some trousers that I could barely squeeze into um, after the all-inclusive and I think these are ASOS, I can't remember and they have got a bit of stretch to them thankfully so hopefully I won't be splitting my pants and I've got my Gucci loafers on so I'll just spin around and show you those and we have autumn leaves on the floor so yeah I'm looking forward to a nice evening it's nice to kind of let your hair down a bit if I'm not on hosting duties and I'm not up for an award, I can kind of just be there to support everybody. And it's a really nice way to undiscover creators who I may have never seen before. Um, there's so many creators out there, isn't there? So yeah, I'm really looking forward to a nice evening and I'll be really looking forward to catching up with Luke as well. Here we are for the... How many times have we done this now? This will be our fourth attendance. Is it? It is. Gosh. 2019, 2021, yeah. 2022, oh, it is, isn't 2023. Ah, oh, and we were just laughing because it's the same situation as always. Luke's just bought plasters instead of me this year. <laughs> but I borrowed the plasters. Well, do you know what? It's, I'm sweating. 
because we're normally in like slippers and trainers, so wearing in <laughs> like fancy fancy. I love uh, that. No we're normally in slippers. <laughs> it's so true. Do you want some gum? Yeah. Oh, yes, I've got gum, I've got it all prepared. Um, I, love, I love a bit of chewing gum before something like this. Yeah, great. Oh, I've got two um, pieces, I'll take one as well. You take that. Thank you, dear. Is that an airwaves? It is. No, it's an extra. Wrigley's really extra. Um, so we've just jumped in a black cab from Euston because we were changing at Euston, but the platform was getting so crowded and there was another seven minutes to wait, which doesn't sound long. It's long for the tube. <laughs> when, the, when, the, um, when it's rush hour and the platform's getting busier and busier, and we were so hot and bothered, we just thought we'll jump in a taxi and we're heading to the Roundhouse. So it's a new venue this year. Mm. It's bumpy. Have you ever been? I don't think I have um, been, I you know. No, it's apparently like a big no. event space. Maybe. Yeah, they do events, they do a lot of concerts in there too, don't they? They have like musicians playing there and stuff. Um, so that's exciting that it's somewhere new. Yes. And yeah, we're just looking forward to having a little catch up. We've already been just gossiping non-stop. <laughs> I've been telling Luke all about my holiday. I'm very jealous, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like I need one. Oh, you sounds. do, mate. Yeah, it was lovely. lovely. It was so nice. Rosé all day. Exactly that, <laughs> yeah, basically. Um, but it's crazy that I've come back to almost the same temperature here yeah. in London in October. Wow. I don't want to get <laughs> emotional, but to get here has taken a huge amount of hard work and there have been a fair few tears along the way too. Sorry to everybody who had to deal with those. Um, but seeing you here tonight makes that all worth it. So let's make this a night to remember. I grew up in my family's like Chinese takeaway growing up and I never saw anyone that looked like me on our screens or anything so just happy to see East Asian and Southeast Asian food on my world. So here's to Heritage Recipes, this is Family Mom Restaurants, here's to everyone who struggles with food, loves food and is embracing who we are and our identity. just got home it is just after midnight so it's way past my bedtime I had such a lovely evening it's always so inspiring at the Be Creator Awards just seeing how much incredible content other creators are making and putting out there and seeing it being recognized and yeah it was a fantastic night it was so cool that it was set in the roundhouse in Chalk Farm it was such a brilliant venue there and yeah I just feel like the awards have progressed again a huge congratulations to Alice and the Be Creator team for pulling off another fabulous evening and a big thank you for having me along as well. I had a fantastic night. It was lovely to catch up with Luke too. But yeah, I'm gonna call it a night. So thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, do give it a big thumbs up and do subscribe. If you're new here for brand new videos every single week, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.